we see today a uh, lot of the liberal world, whether it's the human rights activists or whether you see the Democrats in the US, they are angry with India. Also, we have seen uh, uh, remarks of the Khamenei from Iran. So are we losing friends or are we just not able to explain to them uh, what the rationale of certain recent decisions have been? Maybe we're getting to know who our friends really are. Uh, but uh, look, I, I think there are two different issues here. One, and, and I, I think Prime Minister's remarks kind of touched on that, is, uh, is a kind of a geopolitical assessment that there was a time when India was very defensive, our capabilities were less, our threats were more, the risks were higher. So uh, you, we adopted a policy of, in a sense, of managing the world but kind of staying away. We can't do that anymore. We are the fifth largest economy in the world. We will one day be the third largest economy in the world. I mean, the nature of the world has changed. So as we get uh, more capable as our confidence level goes, as our interest in the world goes, as their interest in us goes. We have to do the management, but in a very different way. We have to engage everybody and find a, it's like a sort of a portfolio management, you know. How do you, how do you kind of uh, spread your bets and get the best out of a larger, larger scenario? The second issue you raised, see, to my mind, that is a issue of a, of a changing world. It is a, it's an issue of a changing world, of a changing India. Uh, I think when you, and, and by the way, the Prime Minister touched on that also, uh, which is that we can't let governance challenges go unaddressed. It's not the mindset of this government uh, to, to just let important issues pass without decisively addressing many, which should have been addressed very much earlier. 